Greetings guys, gals, and Godmaster Gamers alike. I'm a Grinning Gamer and welcome back to Ender Magnolia. And what will probably be the last episode of this early access build of the game. I am looking forward to see what there be in this nightmare hole. Yeah, 100% a boss. 100% a boss. 100% a boss. Please tell me that this is a boss. Or actually, don't tell me it's a boss because it probably is. Uh, I mean, it's an indeterminate size, but I am 100% guessing that it is. Boss? Yep, slow walking into it, 100%. Hello? How bad is it gonna be? How bad is it gonna be? I never thought I'd run into you here, the Grim Reaper of Milius. Oh! Is this person referring to Nola because one of the options is a scythe? Entirely possible. Oh, hi! You're very intimidating! Shackled, oh, Shackled Beast. I want to know what you do, sir. Okay, okay, that's something. Woohoo. Oh, ow. I need to heal immediately. Woohoo. Woo. Eh. Woohoo. Hip. Boom. Okay, that's something. Ah. Uh. Okay, nope. Getting out of there. Hip. Boom! Hey! Help! Oh, he's so close to stunned! Stun! Wail upon the shackled beast! I know not who you are, sir, but you intimidate me! I dislike you suddenly! Ah! That hurt a lot, actually! Try that again! He has charged like the rhino! The mighty Oh! That was enough stacks! That was enough stacks of cold to continue to wail! Woohoo! Ahow! Okay! Oh! Yep! That's another heal immediately! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Excuse me, sir. Could you not? Oh, wait. Oh, I need to be in, like, close proximity for that to... Oh! Yep, dodge back, dodge back. Heal again. I am out of heals. Great. Okay, nope. Hip. Bam. Bam. Oh, he yelled. He yelled to get me off him. Whoop! Nope. Whoop! Oh! Oh, what was that? He never did that before. That was entirely new. Quite frankly, I'm not a fan. Uh, hold on. I might want to change Yolvin. Like, I like Yolvin. Like, his new thing. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to do this. Add that. Yes. Wait. Yes. Okay, cool. And then this, I only have one option. This. Yeah. Glacier with axe. Like, this is a better build. This seems also viable for flying things, but I don't see it being helpful here. I think our build is... This is probably ideal. Because the one... One... Um, one projectile. That's the word I was looking for. One projectile Yolvin seems a lot more reliable. Alright, dude. I know you're here. Yes. Skip to when we're fighting the dude. Oop! Bam! Oop! Okay. Hep, bam, bam, okay. Whoop! No! Okay, I forget how much range that has. Okay. Hip! Whoop! Okay. Whom, 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 whoop! 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 Okay. Whoop! Whoom! 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 Woohoo! 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 Okay. Blip! Hip, hip, okay. That's some- Ow, I forgot that that's primarily for a distance. So as long as I get closer to him there, I should be better. Hip, whoop. Okay, that's something. Boom. Okay, he is stunned, he is stunned. Get me back in there. Whale, whale. Okay, swing, swing, swung. Whoop. Okay, he missed. Dang it. All right. Uh, why do I not have you in here? Whoop. Okay, fine. Bip. Okay, you charge it. Okay, da oh, that hurt. Heal again. Whoop! I can't dash close enough to do that. Okay, you're doing that again. Boom. Okay, you leap, you leap. Okay, doing that again. Okay. Oh, that it's the distance. Are you gonna, you just yelling? Boom. Okay, cool, cool. Wail, continue to wail, continue to wail, wail. Blip. Okay. 
Okay, he did, he's doing the big boom. The big boom. The, okay, cool. Bam. Bam. Oh, he's so close. Ah! A bim. Okay. Can he do the whale? Almost there. Almost there. Whoop. 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 Boom. Hip. So close. Yes. Ha ha. Thou art felled, O beast. Shackled as you may be, it is no excuse for you to attack me. Hello? I failed. I mean, yes, but also no, because I fix thee. And you shall be good. Ooh! Two attuners reported back from the lower stratum. They found it, the shackled beast. The blight fumes from the lower stratum have reached the crystalline realm. Even assistant, resistant homunculi. Oh, jeez. Berserk. I finally sobered up. Free from your brainwashing, damn humans. Then a tuner, Milius' abandoned pet. You think you're any different from a homunculus? You're one, we're one and the same. Help me put an end to this nightmare. I feel like the text should be slower. Getting to stick to those Milius scum? Not a bad idea. Stick it to those Milius scum. Show me how far you're willing to go, a tuner. Oh. So one of the attuners was like, oh. Okay, so the Frost, which I am apparently, um, are on the right side of the story. Like, we're doing good. But there were some attuners, like this dude with the scar on his eye, that were trying to rebel against Milius. Because Milius is the primary manufacturer of homunculi, right? And the Frosts are the attuners. Maybe not all, but most. Whatever the case. This power... A frost. So, there's still hope. You called me the Grim Reaper of House Milius. You've lost your memories too, haven't you? For all you know, we've met before. Not that they'd be good memories if the Miliuses were involved. He should be slightly less unruly once we prove our strength. You do well to restrain him. I don't answer to you. I pledged my allegiance to the Frosts. There's no need to fight. Whatever. Nothing left here for me to protect anyway. A survivor from the Frosts. I'll act as your shield. Shield specifically is an interesting word, considering I wouldn't consider that word for any of his abilities. Counter? Did he ever use a counter ability? If so, it wasn't something that I immediately recognized as a counter. Tempered into a formidable weapon by Milius family experiments, this homunculus was abandoned by his former masters after proving too difficult to control. He was subsequently tasked with exploring the lowest depths of the Land of Fumes, from whence few return. But return he did, and with two attuners in tow. Were there two? I only saw the one with the scar. Maybe there was another in the background, I just didn't notice. Oh. Interesting. When activating the ability, Lilac will momentarily assume a defensive stance, during which enemy attacks will be automatically negated and countered. Be warned, however, timing is key. The ability requires a period of cooldown before it can be used again. Okay, so it's kind of like the, um... Elden Ring shield counter. Like, if you have your shield up and an enemy hits the shield with a physical attack, or well, usually it's a physical attack. I think there's a couple spells that are like that, too. But, um, you can press the heavy attack button immediately afterward, and it performs a counter move, which is very cool. Path is not accessible in early access version. Oh, look forward to future updates. I shall. I shall look forward to future updates. So wait, is that all we have? Is that all we have we can do? If that's if that's it, then boy. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Oh! We got some dialogue. What no, I meant to farts what what? What happened? What happened? Oh there we go. 
The tethered steeple was the last bastion in four homunculi with nowhere else to go. That's my story too. Failed experiment. The Milius has left me to rot in the lower stratum. And a tuner from the Frost family saved us all. Got us set up in that tower. Cool. Worked out for them, too. It kept the Milius' from taking over the place. So yeah, it seems the two major rival factions were the manufacturers of the Homunculi, that being the Milius family, and then the Attuners, the Frost family. Oh my word, I just realized he's got an e-cig! <laughs> I don't know why, but that's super funny. Because he doesn't really have any visual indication that he would breathe. I guess he kind of has, like, a human-esque chest and, like, bits of his arms. But, like, he has no visible mouth or anything. He just puts the e-cig up to his robot head and is just like... <sighs> yeah. Those damned miliuses. They keep creating more and more homunculi. But I'm going to put an end to that. Don't get too close, you know. Uh, we don't get too cl- Oh, we don't get to choose, you know. Our fates are set in stone from the day we're born. It's a raw deal. Fascinating. I appreciate the added context. Cool. So with that... Yeah. It, this seems to be primarily just added stuff. Oh. Oh, we can add to it. Interesting. So right now, the counter results in a chain whip. Wait. How would I use that? How would I counter? What do I have that set to? Oh, wait a second. That would replace something else. Honestly... As much as I like Yolvin, as much as I like Yolvin as a character, like his design and everything, I would rather have the counter than the directional ability spam. Or directional projectile spam. So, I'm sorry, Yolvin. I like your character, but I find the, the counter much more interesting and useful. That said... Given the stuff we have thus far. Oh, right. We can go back to the, um, the reforgery. So let's do that. Because we're only, yeah, we're 13 minutes into the episode. And there's still, and like that, we've gotten as much area as we can, as far as I can tell. All right. Uh, bep. Yes. Teleportation. Thank you, doggo. All right. So let's head over here to the craftery and see what else we can do. Ba -da -ba -da. Wait. Okay. Additional relic slot. Yeah, it's still a lot of money though. Okay, so maybe we can't do that. I thought for sure we had something that could go toward that. Hmm. We may be as far as we can go with any form of progress in this game, which would be unfortunate. However, it looks like we have one more, like, finding we could theoretically do. Oh, tutorial messages. Nice. Wait, one of three. Pages? One of ten left. Oh, wait, no, one of ten pages. So eventually it's going to have that many. Interesting. Well, looking at what we've got left, I want to see if we can return to some of the previous areas that were blocked off and see if we can't do anything with it. Yes, please. I don't think we'll be able to, but I want to give it a go. Okay. It was right down here, correct? Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know if I can do anything with that. Um, yeah, I... Hmm. Wait. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything with the tumor wall, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, if... I'm swinging at it and it's not doing anything, so I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything with that. Ah, dang it. All right. Well, in that case... Let's see, is there any other... Hold on, let's go to the full map. Nope. Let's go to the full map. Okay, zoom. Hmm. This is elevator. Cool. Wait a second, what's this? We should be able to go there now, right? Yeah, we should be able to go there. That, that was a door instead of tumors. Okay, go away. All right, go ahead and rest here. Because I can't remember if it'll save where we're at. All right. So, got to remember, I have my counter now. Hi. Ha-ha! That is really handy. Okay, hello. Okay, how long is... Okay, the cooldown's kind of long, unfortunately. Cool. I don't know why I don't just have the owl out all the time, considering there's no downside to having him out. All right. So, hi. Hip. Hip. Play. <laughs> Wait. I was going to say, how did the owl not finish him off with that blast? Cool. So, play. Cool. Oh! Right. It's one sided. Why would they have this here? Then again, I guess the tumor walls are something we can't really interact with. Huh. Is there any sort of secret entrance that would show up here? Let's try going over here again, because this seems like a weird thing to have just a dead end right there. I'm almost wondering if there's like um, a secret ceiling or something. Like a hollowed out area. Hello. Ow, sir. Him. Sir, could you not? Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, okay. Okay, I am being way too reckless. Okay, yep, take a glug. There's gotta be something up here, right? Otherwise, like, come on, why? Why would this... Why would this tunnel be here if you couldn't go anywhere I hmm there's hmm wait a second nope I'm looking at the ceiling and the floor to see if there's any sign of an opening but unfortunately I don't think there is hello bam bam okay bird there you go what bird I guess I shouldn't be expecting too much from the bird but at the same time I kind of wanted to do something anything anything at all come on give me something to work with here all right fine uh and we didn't get any form of ground pound right we didn't get any form of Ability that would lead to us being able to slam down and get the tumored floors. And this is another one of those one-way doors. That's another one-way slide down. Huh. Man. I feel like there's got to be something else we can do, right? We did... Like, that's another... That's another tumor we can't get through. So there's two one-way doors that we can't open. One tumor wall, two tumor floors. Anything else? Wait. There's another tumor floor here. Huh. And then, looks like everything else we got. Wait, what is this? Is there any possible way we could get up there? Probably not. I kind of want to run back just to see, though. 
Because I can't think of anywhere else to explore. Hmm. Wait. Oh, yeah, and that's swimming down, which we can't do because that was underwater. And then this is the end of that. Hmm. Old city, lower stratum. Boy. If we run through here, run through the... I, I kind of want to check that out one more time just to see. But otherwise, I think we might be done until the full release. I, I guess I don't know if they're going to release more builds of the game that are more... Like, that are further along in development. Or if we're just going to wait until full release. I feel like that'd be the better play. Hello. Whoa. I did not realize that the axe had that much range on it. That's gnarly. Hello. Bye. All right. So. Whoa. So, yeah. Hmm. I don't know how in the world you're meant to do that. I'm guessing it's it's tied to a wall climb ability. That's the only thing that makes any sense. Woohoo! Yeah. Wait. Why don't I remember this? Why don't I remember this? That homunculus just lost it. Can't trust those damn things. Oh, right. That's, this person was here because of Yolvan. Because Yolvan was losing his giblets. Hip! Wait a second. Nope. Huh. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any way for... <clears throat> any way to get back further left. Here's where you fight Yolvan. Hmm... Yep, I don't know what else we can possibly do. We've upgraded everything we can. We've gotten all the materials we could find. A couple dead ends we could follow up on if we had further abilities. But as far as I can tell, this may be it for Ender Magnolia for now. Which maketh me sad. Because I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, I don't... Wait... Why is this part still grayed out? Am I missing something? We'll check one more time. We'll check one more time just to see if there's something that I missed. Da -da -da -da. Wait. Hit. No. Um, what happens if I... Nope. Can I get on top? Wait. Hold on. Oh, wait. Anything up here? No. Hit. It almost looks like there should be something up here, right? Huh. Maybe I'm tripping. Um, that said, I did want to see if there was... Hmm. This reminds me of actually in... Uh, Ender Lilies, there was something like this. Where, like, back in the early area, there's one thing you couldn't reach. And then you don't actually get to go back until, like, the very end of the game. It was really cool when it happened in Ender Lilies, but it is kind of sad. Hold on. Wait, now does it? Yeah, because we jumped high enough. It was literally just, I never got high enough on the screen to fill that in. Sadness. All right. Well, with that, I think we will bring this early access look to a close. So, liking it so far, keep going, Binary Haze, looking great, and I'm looking forward to seeing where the story goes. So, if you guys did enjoy this first look at Ender Magnolia, do the YouTube stuff down below, pop in the Discord, say hi, leave a comment, check out the AppGrin's joint channel in the description, and I will certainly see your smiles soon. See ya!